What's good, everyone? Welcome back to EMC. What's up, what's up, what's up? So, we always read in the comments, you guys want to see Lambos, right? Well, here they are. This is all about the Lambos. Yes, sir. We got two of the dopest from the modern day generation and the last generation Gallardo. Two of the most limited and the sickest. But today, I just want to give a big shout out to my homeboy's place right here, United Recommend. Uh, they let us use their facilities. Hey, you're a Ferrari guy. What's up, dude? I'm a Porsche guy. So what do you think, man? Well, okay, so you know, to be honest with you, I love Ferraris. You guys know that about me. But you know, the car that actually really made me fall in love with automobiles was probably the Countach. Okay. You know, that, that was probably the car that made me like, whoa, you know? That, that was a wow car. Right? I mean, everybody had that on their like bedroom wall. I had a white one uh, on my wall and that was what started it all. And then I fell in love with 355 and you know, the rest is history. But um, yeah, so this is the SVJ. The SV cars, I think the first one they made Diablo. was the Diablo. The right? Diablo. The well, Diablo. I, well, I love the Diablo. Exactly. That was kind of like my thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but so you use the Countach, the Diablo. Yeah, yeah I mean, well, I think every model towards the end, this is like the, the, the crescendo, right? This is, this, this is how they end the model. They released the SV, SVJ, right? That's like the last of its kind, you know? And uh, we're lucky enough, thank you, Wei Xiang, for lending us to this. This thing looks like a fucking fighter plane. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah it's a Batmobile, yeah. but... Uh, I feel like well, Bruce Wayne in there. It's like Bruce <laughs> <yeah>. Wayne. <laughs> and I just want to give a shout out to Woody. So Woody lent us his LP570 Super Trofeo Stradale. Okay, I think not a lot of people know about this. Right? Yeah. Not a lot of people yeah. know about this. Yeah. yeah. So there's only 150 of these ever made. Uh, we got three in Taiwan. The front end, it looks like just another LP570, but we're gonna go into details. It's a lot more than that. Why don't we go over some specs with SVJ? And you do the, uh, SVJ, I'll do the Trofeo, okay? Okay. So the SVJ, it is a V12. It's got, I think, 770. 77, yeah. 770 horsepower. To be honest with you, I don't know that much about Lamborghinis. Nor I, to, nor right? I, to be honest with you, I, I don't. I think that there's about 900 coupes and about 700 to 800 convertibles, uh, yeah, something like that. I think that's right. Okay, here, come along the back. This is something that's really, really cool. Um, usually on the SV or the special limited edition cars, they have a cover on the back and you can only see the vents. Everything else is carbon fiber, obviously, with the SVJ right here and the ALA Alaya. Okay, so I'm gonna try my best. This is called the Alaya or the Ala. You guys can make fun of me, but if you know how to pronounce it right, let me know in the description. Uh, but they got some special aerodynamic stuff on the SVJ. This thing is so wide. It's just crazy it's, looking. It's just crazy, all right? <laughs> and um, it's got carbon fiber door panels. And the doors go up, panties go down, and you know the rest. Ryan is going to hit you guys with the LP570 Super Trofeo Stradale. I'm going to try with the name first. He did a quite, quite a good job. <laughs> this is the Gallardo Super Trofeo Stradale. I got that right? Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Anyways, so this car is super special um, because you, as you guys know, I had the 2009 Scuderia, which I feel like is sort of like a distant cousin to this, you know, because uh, this has no soundproofing. Okay. It's a V10 single clutch transmission, you know, I think it runs what, 570 horsepower? 570. 570 horsepower, um, four wheel drive. I haven't driven it yet, but I feel like it's gonna feel like my Scuderia, right? I mean, when I sat in it for a while, it felt really raw. I can tell that there's no soundproofing and the engine is like literally right behind you, you know? So I think uh, this car is gonna be um, very, very fun to drive. And you gotta remember, man, this is when we first went from analog to digital, right? Um, so you'll have that connection with the car that, that's beyond the computers, right? So I'm very, very excited about this. And uh, I think we did enough talking. Let's, yeah. let's, let's fucking get into this Yeah. Thing. So guys, <laughs> here's a little B-roll of the two cars. Check out all the details. I'm sure we missed a lot of stuff. Please forgive us. We're not Lambo boys, but we're gonna do our best, go for a test drive, and let you guys know how we feel from our perspectives. Let's do this. Peace.
there goes Ryan. Yeah. I mean, you know, there is single clutch. It's fun. You know, I'm looking at this uh, Aventador SVJ in my rearview mirror, and it looks like a fucking jet, man. This thing is, uh, I feel like Tom Cruise is about to get out of the driver's seat. God. Oh man, wait, I gotta figure out how to open the window. This thing sounds so good. Dude, behind? It sounds crazy, man. Oh, hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. get used to it but there's a couple things that you know that I'm, I'm not used to that bother me a little bit like uh, when I had to open the windows it's, it's, it's like reversed um, the bucket seats are a little bit hard I feel kind of squished like my head is touching the top and the, the, the line of sight uh, I'm not really I don't feel that secure or comfortable yet um, kind of wish that there was a harness, but overall, dude, this thing is sick. Oh, I gotta share something with you. Handbrakes, motherfucker. Handbrakes, yo, I've missed these things so much. Everything is electronic now. Sometimes you just want to pull this thing, right? And uh, I like the little uh, details. The water temp is aqua. Uh, and uh, the battery is benzina, you know, it's all Italian. So that's pretty fucking cool. Uh, so I'm gonna pull over now and then we're gonna switch cars and I'm gonna try out this fucking Batmobile and uh, do my whole Bruce Wayne bit. So uh, yeah, I love this car. For five, six million MT, are you kidding me? Anyways, I'm outie. Here we go. So this is what I was missing in the SVJ that I wanted. Oh, the handbrake. I haven't seen this handbrake in a long time. Let's see what this got. Oh, whoa, that kick. Oh, man. A oh, single clutch, that, that kick. Woo. six-cylinder as well so the difference between the Luso and this is this is much more responsive and you can feel like the raw power okay so we're gonna try to do a little little pull study is uh, next to me you want to go yeah let's go three two one go zero and you know honestly you're, you're not gonna get much of an advantage on these type of cars you know if you're under 100 120k up right but I mean this exhaust note <laughs> Yes, it sounds better. Okay, I, I get it. The V12 
10 it's almost there but that v12 oh that, that's got to be one of the best sounding v12s ever pretty good I was everything I expected it to be and a little bit more hell yeah oh <laughs> man all right I'm gonna tell you guys how I felt about the two cars worlds of difference between the two generations and the two different Lambos but uh, I'm gonna say this one it's just so wide it's so fast it's so smooth I did not get it up to too fast I'm sure if it was over 200 km it would just keep flying I do have a newfound appreciation. The looks, I have to say, the SVJ, hands down, one of the best looking supercars on the planet. Looks like a Batmobile. And if you want to show off, I'd say that this is definitely the car to have. This car is, I mean, you want to be rolling down Rodel Drive or like, or like Miami Beach, right? In this car to get like looks. Like what he said, you know, doors go up, panties come down. And there's, <laughs> I mean, this thing is, look at it. It's, it's almost like, crazy that it's silly it's like wow <laughs> it looks like a fucking jet you know just getting into that thing is like an it makes your day an occasion you know it's like it just it makes it like a fucking holiday like you'll yeah. remember this like oh getting in and out the whole ceremony of lifting the door getting in closing it but you know to be honest with you Sonny and i were having a little bit problem getting in and out of the stage <laughs> yeah. it was <laughs> You know what? It was not easy. Uh, the bucket seats are actually on the hard side. And when you get out, you'll notice that it's, it's really wide. It's really, really low. So when I had to get out, it was, it was to be it honest reminded with you, it was me really of difficult. Your, reminded me of your McLaren. Yeah. It, with the yeah. huge carbon tub, right? Yeah. Uh, but besides that, it's super fast. I feel like this car doesn't even come alive until you hit 200 km or above, right? And I feel like you gotta get up to that speed for all the aero to start working. And it actually feels a little bit looser, you know, at lower speeds, right? Because it needs that downforce. Look at it, I mean, this, this car just eats downforce. The air intakes, the manifolds, that big wing in the back, right? Everything is just screaming downforce, right? Uh, so that's why it handles 770 horsepower. But like I said, you know, I always feel like uh, <laughs> I think the, the LP570 is, uh, I can actually feel like I can drive this thing and I can toss it around a little bit, right? Uh, the 500 horsepower range is always, I feel like, okay, that's all you really need. You know what I'm saying? All these cars these days with the 700, 800, 1000 horsepowers, it gets to a point where like, you can't even really drive it on the streets, you know? Like it's, it's gotta be like on the track. It's gotta be track, you know? It felt a little more analog, felt a little more squirrely, and I felt a little more confident because I think for the big Aventador, the SVJ, my line of sight, my vision wasn't that great. And also it's just super expensive. So I was a little bit afraid. I think if I spent more time with it, I think it would be a lot better. Obviously you can't compare these two because the price difference is major. If you're looking for something that's slightly analog and you still want that squirrely feeling, that dangerous feeling, the Super Trofeo Stradale might be something that you want. I almost feel like the LP570, this car is a little bit overlooked. Overall, you know, these two are great cars. Like Sonny said, we're not Lambo guys. I like Ferraris, he likes Porsches. This doesn't change what we feel about Ferraris or Porsches. You know, like he said, uh, a newfound respect for Lamborghinis. And um, I totally understand why people like it. We hope you guys enjoyed this Lambo vlog. We tried our best. If we didn't say anything right, or if we didn't do the Lambos justice, just let us know. We'll try to do better next time. But I do want to say the last Lusso vlog, we had a little technical difficulty. We're sorry about that. So Ryan and I, we decided to have something called Empire Fest. We're going to do it once a year. And we decided we are going to hold the event at Sui Drifting. The location is down below. It's going to be in October. So look out for Empire Fest because it's going to be the baddest event of the year. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.